Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Harmon Warhol bringing you another episode of the Harmon Warhol Show. And I have not only a special guest, but a good friend, Gypsy, tattoo artist, uh, also entrepreneur, uh, fashion designer, yeah. Peche. What's good? No, no applause, bro. <laughs> So weird. Hey, yo, so how you doing today? What's good? I'm good. I'm great. I'm so, good. yeah, uh, having you on here today is important because you're actually leaving California soon. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> well, what do you mean by finally? Because you're actually originally from Argentina. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm originally from Argentina, but I've been the fucking last year and a half, almost two years, traveling, and I just realized I spent like one year here in California. Yeah. So... That Okay, let's go back to that, all right? Because you just said, I looked up, realized, oh, it's been a whole year. I've been in California. <laughs> so uh, you are truly uh, a definition of what a gypsy is. I don't know, some places that's probably uh, an insult to some people, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, but you live it to the, be like, the best degree. Like, I mean, just meeting you, we actually met at Burning Man. And me, uh, me and Kev actually made the joke uh, to the group saying like, oh yeah, tattoo or asking any uh, tattoos was good in the playa, asking for a friend, ha ha ha. Next thing you know, playa provides, introduce the peche, now you own half my arm. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you see, so that means I spend a lot of time here. A lot of time. Shipsy, um, shipsy life. Well, to me, like shipsy life is pretty much um, when you really can adapt your lifestyle anywhere um, and you can really use what you have around you and make your life how you want to make it like I just want to keep in traveling and work and if today I've been working here right and yeah. I sell all my stuff in five minutes like I can do that yeah, yeah. that's to me it shifts the life when you really can be happy anywhere mm -hmm. and you can keep going with your path and your focus and your work um, speaking in any language, um, in any culture, uh, yeah, that's to me. How many languages, like, so would you say you speak? I would at least say you speak Spanish and, uh, English. Yeah. More than fairly well. well. Yeah, then, Spanish is my, my real language, yeah. and then English, uh, I'm getting better, I'm still learning, but... but you're pretty good, nigga. Yeah, I, <laughs> I taught her how to say the word nigga the proper way, you know what I'm saying, in front or behind certain words, you know what I'm saying, because you know what I mean, like, you're like you got, when you're trying to have someone to say, like, you want to say, like, stop, nigga, it's a different way from saying, nigga, stop, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, I, you know what I mean, it helps yeah. you with that one. That, yeah. <laughs> that, to me, is the, the perfect example of how long I've been here, right, because now I can like, I can know a little bit where, when you nigga and, yeah. <laughs> and that, uh, but I mean, yeah, so English, I, I feel like I, I really learned here, especially with you, because your English is so hard for me, yeah, yeah, used yeah. to be, now I think I can, I got it, I saw small wig as, after be your friend, actually, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I cannot small wig, <laughs> and hey now with Mike, and Kev at the same time, like, this is too much. <laughs> So I already have one year, pretty uh, much, yeah. almost no smoke event, getting married with English, um, and then I learn uh, French. French, yeah. With our French friends. With our right? French friends, yeah. Shout out to the Frenchies. It was fucking crazy experience for me to like traveling with them in an RV. Look at the uh, look up the city Montanique uh, in France. It's an island off the coast of France. And uh, it's beautiful. Our friends, are, our friends live there. Peche actually went out there. So you gotta think about this. So I'll put it. Maybe you have some other things. Yeah. Argentina, Mexico. From Mexico, goes to Montenegro, to France, and yeah. then for Burning Man, has to come back here. Comes out to uh, flies into Oakland area, right? Mm -hmm. And then they drive into the Playa, which is in Nevada. Gets to chill out there for Burning Man. Meets us. Comes back. Hey guys, go back to France. I'm staying here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stays here. Chills in Oakland with our friend Mark. Going around doing yeah. shit. You went to. Uh, I'm sure you went to like what L.A. You even went north. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was more recently, but you stayed around. You know, uh, Bay Area for the most part. Yeah. You know, and uh, coming out to Stockton every other weekend. You know? <laughs> yeah, that Gang was gang. great. This year was great. Um, yeah, this year I felt like I need to explore more about states. Like, yeah. try to see how is the culture out, out from California. Because yeah. I know California is pretty special. Yeah. And also, like, all this Latin wave, too, where I feel like kind of connected, like Mexican people and stuff. 
so I've been around Washington for a, for a month, traveling around, and That's also right. with some friends from Burning Man too. And so yeah, so this guy, so French, uh, because this guy, so we met in Mexico, and then they invited me to Burning Man. I didn't know about it, and I was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, 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 hell yeah, let's go. I didn't know what the fuck is Burning Man. Like, I just bought my ticket. Yeah, and then, yeah. like, oh shit, where am I going? Like, mm -hmm. I had to go up. I was in Argentina at that time. And so, we spent like 20 days traveling in an RV. I didn't really speak French at that time. I've been like studying one month before from Mexico every day. Like, I had to figure it out, this shit. Because yeah. So, that was kind of hard, but also. That's why to me be gypsy is like just go ahead and then when you are there you will see how, how you gotta you will figure it out. So so after that um I spent time with you guys so the idea was just go burning man with those Frenchies and then stay here for a week and then I spent like five months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around yeah. 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 Uh I was gonna say uh does your moving and like having to uh, m not mold but uh, form into your environment does that affect your art? You know how what you're creating. Of course, yeah, that's I mean, everything. Yeah, I was just trying to set you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's everything. Like, uh, um, so living the moment, the present makes me uh, so that like be in the present and try to absorb everything what is going on around me. Um, and then the beginning traveling is like everything is like a movie, right? Like, oh, America. So where is America for me? It's like movie pictures in my mind, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Hollywood. And then, oh, fuck, I'm here. And all that is part of my, of course, of my art. And then now I feel like after a while traveling, um, I'm fine. I finally find the way the, how my lifestyle and my art work. Yeah. It's finally in one, the same path, right? Finding more of yourself, finding mm -hmm. more of yourself as an artist, finding your, you know what I mean, as everything yeah. you know, in particular, exactly. just growing with that. Yeah, one thing that you said, particularly driving around Stockton that uh, sticks close to me, uh, driving around with you and everything, and there's like a crackhead on the corner tweaking down and stuff, and I know you're not from here and stuff, no. so I just had to make a comment and be like, man, yeah, Stockton, bro, you know what I mean? And a lot of other people and friends say shit like that whenever you see a situation where you're like, damn, Stockton. And you looked at me and you told me and you said, that's everywhere, Michael. Yeah. And I'm like, and it means more a lot coming from you because you traveled everywhere, mm -hmm. been a lot of places. And I'm like, yo, if, if Petra, I've been around a lot around America. You've been mm -hmm. around a lot of the world. And for you to say that, you know what I mean, just makes me like more convinced uh, about people creating art from Stockton. Mm -hmm. About like, hey, bro, you relate more to people around the world than you ever would think. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Especially yeah. for you to be so cool with all the people from here, not just uh, everywhere in the world, but particular here in mm -hmm. Stockton. You know yeah. what I mean? You even have a certain, I uh, think, place in your heart for Stockton, not because of the place, but like, I mean, it has a little to do with that, more the people and stuff yeah. like that. It, it, it speaks volumes, I mean, to me personally, just like, damn, Stockton's cool as fuck, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, so, so the normal question of, uh, from people is, where is the place? Uh, your favorite place right and it's like so hard to respond because for me it's not just the place and how pretty it is and yeah. or whatever but it's also people but it's also your experience in there so yeah. to me um like so many friends like what where is that why is that done? like yeah yeah so it's so, yeah. like, you know, like, man, it's All not just like traveling fun. it's not just like okay actually just now i'm choosing where I want to go, but I always was like, okay, I know this person now, so I'm going there, and then there, and then yeah, there, I don't really, like... It goes into what you're going to be doing at the time, yeah. too, like, with the kind of people, you know, I'm sure exactly. when you go to a... When you went to uh, Washington, you know, you knew you're going to be in a certain type of thing. Or when you go back, you're like, oh, this is what I'm going to be doing. And this yeah. is what I'm going to be around. When you go to Stockton, this is what I'm going to be doing. This is what yeah. I'm going to be around. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like I'm saying, like Stockton probably ain't on your top of your list. But I know it's probably up there in the top three or five or Yay. something. You know, yeah. all the places. And, like, that means a lot. <laughs> Uh, that not only myself but like other people here just made you feel like at home like in you exactly. know it's still another home for you you know yeah yeah it is like um, some sometimes I I post in Instagram right and my friends like why home like are you staying there and did you buy a house like what is going on because you're there like, for a minute yeah. like, 
no man, like home doesn't mean like a place where you're gonna fucking live all your life. It's, no, yeah. it's, it's where you feel like home. Um, I really feel that here, right? Because um, cause people, my family is here, like the first family in California is here. Have you always been like an artist drawer or you just something came late or is it something that started early? You know, no, that start, yeah, that started pretty early. My mom, she's a teacher of uh, kinder school and she always, like on holidays and free time, always we were going to museums and okay. drawing and, and worship. So this is embedded at a young age. And then like, where yeah. did you, when did you decide to become like a tattoo artist? So I was working in a studio already. I was like 18. I started working in a studio because I wanted my own money, but it was looking like fucking pan rock or something. So yeah. I was like, I cannot, at that time, my, my city is kind of a small city. Like I cannot ask for a shop in a regular shop. So I want to, um, tattoo shop and I start doing uh, body piercing okay and then like a few years later my co-worker was like hey you're drawing every day because I was also studying fashion designer so you should start with this so he called my brother who lives in Brazil and he sent to me two machines and he gave it to me on my birthday like okay this is your brother gift so you should start oh, with nice. this that's what's up. I was like oh man this is I don't know, like how I'm gonna learn. Like it's that it's gonna take a long, long time. And, this and is then, making me laugh inside. You talking about? Like <laughs> I'm like, bro. She holds my whole arm, and she's like, "Fucking what you say to? I don't know what to do." It was so scary. I was like 21, like 10 years ago, and then uh, I never use a fucking like fake skin. I always use uh, yeah. friends, so yeah, yeah, I yeah. always have friends. And I feel so grateful for that. Like I have so many friends yeah, yeah. for free tattoos forever because yeah. I fucked up so many yeah, shit. Yeah, you know, like yeah. starting and learning. But yeah, that was like ten years ago. Uh, the way I can uh, relate to you is like doing these podcasts and stuff. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you see me with these cameras, you know, right now, yeah. right in the mic and stuff. Patch, I started doing this shit with my phone. You know what I mean? And me starting, I was just like, how am I gonna do it? How am I gonna do questions? And I mean. Honestly, talking to you right now, I've been pretty fluid, yeah, pretty yeah, good yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the same way with you doing tattoos, even though you've been doing tattoos way longer, I've been doing podcasts mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. It's just funny, the more I talk to people and stuff, a lot of people's journeys start the same way. It's more of just like, oh, I either got thrown to it or it's something I really wanted to do and I just started. And then now that I got to this point so far that you can uh, give me some type of praise is because I didn't give up. Yeah. And I'm just like, I think it's so great doing these podcasts and showcasing this stuff to people because I'm just like, look, like, bro, she has my arm and I love her art. And this is like, she starts, everyone starts the same. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's so great just to know yeah. that. Uh, and to me, like, the result is not like how it's going to be this postcard is just like a little part of the, of the process. And to me, the process is everything. Like all yeah. this, like share with you and see how you set the stuff. How yeah. is the place? Like to me, it's that being the present. And um, tattoos is 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 crazy because it's forever. Yeah, the yeah, result yeah. is fucking forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the process is what I really enjoy. Like what you wanna get and then work with you and spend that time with you and share about. Like it's pretty much like this, right? Yeah, and yeah, working yeah. In, But we also are sharing about. Um, or life and that's why I'm still traveling also and working right yeah yeah I mean I literally tell some of my other uh, tattoo artists when I got this this M right here and he's all looking at some of the art that you did and stuff he likes your art he likes your lines he likes how you know what I mean and uh and I'm just like, yeah, she's over here just traveling. He's like, fuck, bro. She's living the fucking dream, bro. Like, you can kind of tell. You didn't say there's so many fucks. I'm pretty sure there's one. But, yeah. like, like, he was just like, damn, bro. That's what I want to fucking do, bro. And yeah. uh, not only, and he's a great artist. He was, just, like, super dope. He does he does a different style than you. He does a lot of mashups and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it's just funny because I'm like, man, bro, you can do it too. You know what I mean? You just got to have that will, desire. And then you have to also... Just like your art, you have to form uh, your personality to be able to, you know, the way you're able to network with people and yeah. stuff. And I hate calling it networking because you're, we're friends. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But the connections that you have and are able to, uh, 
just bud off into other, you know what I mean? Whether it be uh, now they're helping you create and print designs or, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah, on yeah, bags, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. doing that. Yeah. Or maybe they're able to give you a studio to do tattoos out of or maybe the place to stay or maybe it's it, or maybe it's just a person that leads to another person mm-hmm. or whatever. But like that also from your drawing and your tattooing, that also is part of you being an artist is being yeah, able like, to figure that out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, to me, being an artist is also like, it's just create. Like, today I've been asking you about all the this room, which is wonderful. Like, and it's you. your art. And it's so, like, I never saw before your your graphic art, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. to me, it's like, no, it doesn't care how it is. Like, cook is create. Like, yeah, yeah, everything yeah. Is You're a good cook too, as well. Cook for us <laughs> at Burning Man, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, I'm getting better. Yeah, yeah. Like, thank, you, thank you, Matthew. You cooked some bomb yes. ass breakfast with no partner, shirt on. The no best sh- partner to <laughs> cook yeah. <laughs> shout out Ben, shout out Matthew. Yay. Um, yeah, so that's, that's life. Life is create every day, how your lifestyle. Um, yeah, I wish more people thought about life like that, even if they weren't like considered themselves artists. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Like, everything you do is, you know, you're creating your own exactly. way of doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm living a dream. I'm yeah. so happy about it. Like, I've been dreaming this for a long time. And it wasn't, like, I couldn't imagine if I, I really, I really can do this. Like, I don't know if people, people will like my work and, like, so, like, go out for, from the comfort zone. It's, it's, it's just go out and then it's so easy. Like, now, I cannot imagine staying in a place. Like, it's. It's going to be hard. Like when you say stay at what? Stay in the same place. Oh, stay like, in the same okay, place. Okay, I'm going to stay here and live here. Like, yeah. I'm fucking scary about that. Like, oh, just be like, sc- oh, just have my backpack. It's so That's kind of weird. So now when you say it, that's like somewhat of a conundrum? Because do you think you're always going to be gypsy or you're going to uh, make some, get some land somewhere? You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I have some plans, uh, yeah. but it's just still like, uh, I feel like the next few years, uh, I'm gonna have some seats, places somewhere, like a little van to travel somewhere, like, but I don't wanna attach, you know, I don't wanna deep root. So, uh, Peche, uh, how are you in relationships? Shit, <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew this, you know? Do you, do you have a problem with commitment? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. I just have problem with commitment. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have problem with commitment. It's funny. It's funny when people say commitment too, because you have so many tattoos. You're like I committed to this tattoo, though. <laughs> oh, shit. My God. Then that wow. another thing when you look at commitment, because the things I can commit to are either so silly or just more of a memory to me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the first tattoo you gave me for my birthday, what I always remember is the the tape. I've said the story before, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, and Petch, not only does the moment happen at Burning Man with Ben, uh, but also the uh, moment with you being at on the playa, being in that moment. You you even though you weren't there, you're still at Burning Man when it occurred. Yeah. And for you to give me that tattoo means so much more. So when even though, and it came out good, like it looks cool. But some people, it's almost dumb to get a tattoo that means like it's just a memory. It doesn't yeah. like hold like yeah I do rap music but I'm, I record on I don't even put anything on CDs like yeah. you know what I mean so a tape you know what I mean but it means so much more you know and the things I can commit to are just like nostalgia yeah. based, <laughs> you know what I mean instead of an actual person <laughs> oh, you don't even want to talk about it <laughs> it's kind of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> let me see what time we are Cause we're probably damn, we barely even twenty minutes, bro. Oh my god! So this is the part right here where we can either delve into the. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Because, I don't know. I just think about that though a little bit. With like, let's just go into that. Uh, just relationships and stuff. Yeah. Like all the relationships you came across. Like, how are those encounters for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, relationships. Um, Friends uh, or uh, intimate, whatever. I, I I like commitment. I'm Virgo. I'm pretty straight. And yeah. Um, I'm serious with my work. I'm serious with my. I try to be like um, honest and clear with my communication. That's in any relationship. Um, yeah. But always for everybody, like love relationship is so fucking different. And yeah, yeah. Hard, uh, especially when we speak different language. Yeah. Uh, so that's first step. But it's, y'all speak that same <laughs> language. <laughs> Body language, bro. That's just universal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak Spanish. 
speak that language. Hey, shut up, bro. <laughs> shut up, bro. Remember when we were dancing after the mojito bar? Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, but I feel so free when I can't, uh, like, free, the, like, that's freedom. Um, feels so good when, fuck it, everything, like, yeah, yeah. no commitment, but also no, like, uh, no, no think about it and just feel free. That's something so, so um, special from Burning Man. And, yeah. But it's still a challenge. I know I look like super open and free and blah, blah, but I'm so straight with so many things. And that's also like, I'm glad about it because all my work is that really works. But yeah. then relationships is kind of, okay, how I, how I do this, you know? Like, I would think a lot of people would watch you though because you're just <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, you know saying like yo, yeah, you know, this gypsy woman. I would honestly uh, think of you almost like as a child. Like I'm literally just thinking about this right now, Petra. Don't think of any like you're my no, sister know, now. I After know. we got to a certain part of knowing each other, I'm like, oh, yeah. Petra's like my sister, yeah. which is very rare for me. So honestly, you should be no. very fucking special, bro. Because oh. I'm a pervert. So anyway. <laughs> That was funny. That was funny. Uh, I'm a pervert with two like a degree. It was more of a punchline. Pache laugh. Uh, catch me December 13th. Look at us. <laughs> Stand-up comedian. Uh, I don't even know what I was talking about. Uh, no, but I would say, like, would some people uh, think of you as, like, a challenge? Like, oh, I'm going to get her to stay here. I'm going to uh, convince her to, hey, yo, this is her home now. Would you ever think about that? I mean, I wouldn't even think some friends would probably try to think about that. When I'm me. traveling, you mean, like, people who surround me? I would just say, like, I'm sure... Uh, just, I'm sure that there's people out there that try to get you to stay, you know what I mean? I'm sure that's yeah. really hard for you to leave, you know? <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, I learned a lot about that, like, um, yeah, that happened, and also some, like, risky situations yeah, yeah. with guys, and, like, using, like, couch surfing platform and yeah. stuff, and then, like, it's hard to see the line, you know, like, no, this is this, it's not yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. blah, um, but I, I really learned to to follow my path and not try to stop to get attached so that the last year is i you know it's been longer because i fall in love and shit yeah 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 so now <laughs> well, that's why i brought it I up I, mean, about pretty, that. I, mean, I brought up the question pretty rare because i already knew the answer Pete. uh i'm pretty good at this now. so i love i love yeah i mean i love to share i love share love and i can stay for that but yeah. Um, now I feel like after this year, very much. If I ever see you on fucking Instagram, hey, she was in fucking. <laughs> Why was she in Panama for three months? <laughs> she got some Panama dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the love of your visa. Uh, <laughs> no. Because in Spanish, it's the el amor de tu vida. It's like the love of your life. Yeah, yeah. But vida and visa is just one letter. Uh, so yeah. we saw like. Um, it's a love, it's just for the visa, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, <laughs> just yeah, to stay longer, yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. no, but no, that's not happened, it didn't happen, I left, and, uh, <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, relationship is kind of hard, like friends, brothers, like you, detach, like le live, and like, I don't know when we're gonna see each other again. It's sad, it makes me sad, like, after this, like after this, we'll chill for here for a minute, but I kind of want to leave somewhere and just do something yeah. real quick, even though like, because usually on Sundays, I kind of just chill, do podcasts and kick it, but since you're here, I'm like, like, what happens if I don't see you this week, you know, before you leave, yeah. you know what I mean, I'd be like, I'd be pretty sad if we just chilled at my house and just looked at our phones and iPad yeah. all day, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, <laughs> I know, but it's great too, because you, uh, you can also like just enjoy the moment, like yeah. be present that yeah. right now here, I don't know, we don't know what is, what is going to happen tomorrow, uh, so that makes me have like pretty deep and solid relationships, even if we share just this moment in our entire life, like, and we don't see each other again, that memory is going to be so, like, you know, like real, mm -hmm. so that makes me have like a lot of friends around the world mm. and some of them I, I also traveling I we catch each other again and that's crazy like one mm. year later we are so different ah now you speak English mm. yeah uh, now yeah. you speak Spanish yeah, like yeah, one yeah. year ago we just communicate with beers yeah. you know <laughs> and so that's great I yeah. love the, I love the, like people is the more beautiful um, yeah experience traveling uh, the two things I'll end the podcast with, fuck if I can remember them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so the one thing I feel like with some people that, that can't relate, I can kind of relate to you with that. I have, people don't understand, like, I'm from California, Stockton and everything. I have literally, like, a whole family in Indiana of people. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I mean? Shout out to Taiwan, Alex, and Joe. You know what I mean? I have other yeah. friends and people out there, too. But those are the three, I like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? And people don't understand. Those are, like, part of my best friends. Yeah, these are my brothers. Mm-hmm. I will fucking, whatever, they, if they really needed me to fly out there, I will make it happen to fly out there yeah. and stuff. And uh, people trip out because, uh, especially my homie Joe, I only call him like twice a year. You know what I mean? And every time I call him, it's like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, and literally feels like nothing's changed. Feels like like we have, still have the same love, same yeah. energy. Yeah. And it's just like, I, w- I would know you would have to feel that way. And some people I don't think understand that. Like, bro, like yeah. I have, like I lived a whole nother life somewhere at one yeah. point. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Would you feel the same? Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. But it's also, I feel like, it's, the, it's because we are not anymore 20 years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel like relationships are, are, are changing also because we are getting older and we are really... Uh, so it's different. Like We, we can be open from the, the first time that we met and that makes... That feels that confidence. And then doesn't change. Like, I would not be mad with you if we don't call each other. No, you know, no, like never. That is as long as we ha- left on a good note, you know what I mean? Yeah, as, yeah. Um, I, like we're then we're good. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. Yeah. And then it's gonna be the same. Like yeah. we will meet each other again. Yeah, like, this gonna, nigga yeah, is gonna yeah, fucking yeah. get on your spot. tattoo. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the second thing I was gonna bring. <laughs> oh man. I was gonna just bring up just like you know I don't know just I don't know what I would what I would want to end on Peche is. Uh, I think you're a hell of an artist, a hell of, even a hell of a person, and that's because I because I think you're such a great artist. It means more even. It, that's how much more of a person I think you are than your art because you are just that great person. You showed a lot about myself, uh, and I think that. Um, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to really, uh, what your end goal of it is or anything mm-hmm. or whatever, but. Uh, I definitely want to showcase you to the world and hopefully someone else wants to do that and blows you up whether you want it or not because I think you should be shown around the world as, just as an entity yeah. you're a beautiful person I'm gonna miss you dearly Aww, and deeply too. and like I said it's really hard for me uh, as for women to be cons- create real solid friendships with yeah. uh, just because like I said just because you <laughs> I kill you, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, like Petra, for you to be able to ha- like show me that I can actually have a relationship with a girl that's not intimate all the time, really show like makes me feel better about myself. You know what I mean? They're yeah. like, hey, you know what? It, it, yeah, it, it, a lot has to do with me, but also it's because there certain, has to be a certain type of girl for me to be like, oh, we're cool and friends and yeah. everything. You know what I mean? Because it's like it's hard to know whether it's a guy too. You know, I'm not trying to hang out with a bunch of dudes all the time too. You know? Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, I just want to say that you're a great person. I'm glad that this oh. podcast was able to showcase you and acknowledge you as an artist. And uh, thank you for showing yeah, up. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'll give yeah, you a hug. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, do you want to leave with the people or want you to hit them up? I mean, you're about to, where are you about to leave to? Um, what about leave? We, yeah, we, you're leaving here I'm Friday. Leaving. And then... So, yeah, I'm going down to Mexico okay. and then um, eventually to Ar- Argentina. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to try to make it out there. So of I'm not going to go to Burning Man this year, so hopefully... So I don't I think so, it. too. So we should go South America. Well, that's what I want to uh, do. I want to hit up Denver. I want to hit up Indiana. I want to hit up Canada. And I want to hit up wherever oh, wow, you're at. If you're boom. in Mexico or Argentina. All right. And I want to try to hit those four right. places. This at least that. go three for four. You know what I'm Great. saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. always down. That's the good thing to be a shipsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. I'm be hitting you up. And, uh, go ahead and check her out on Instagram or her art. If you're in Mexico or Argentina within the year, uh, fly out, see her. Or, hey, maybe uh, she start doing some graphics and send them to you online or some ah, shit. Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, but uh, make business with her. Be cool with her. Follow her. See, uh, she lives a pretty interesting life. Like, again, if you want to see someone living the life you kind of want to live, traveling everywhere, uh, follow Peche at yeah. The Tattoo Artist. Anything yeah. else? No? That's it. Boom! Thank you. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> That was great.